Hi, this is Eula and I am revolutionizing Notion experiences. In this video, I will be giving you a tour and step-by-step -step tutorial of the Notion GP a calculator template. If you haven't already, you can get it at eulacreations.gumroad.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting Notion content and template. If you came from the university dashboard template, you can jump to this mark. Now let's dive into the tour. On this side, there's a callout block for quick navigation to all the databases in this template, as well as the quick buttons for easy tracking of grades. You can add more to these buttons that will suit your workflow. Here you have your university's grading system. There's also a version with a P class and another one with this grading system. We will also cover them in this tutorial. Here you can see your GPA for this semester, your overall GPA and your grades for every course you are taking this semester. For the GPA and current semester sections, just change the filter accordingly when the semester changes. You can do that by clicking these menu buttons. Click filter, then input the semester. Below here, you have your grades tracker where you will input the grades you get from every activity, assignment, exam, etc. Here, you can also see the academic coursework criteria for each course. Now that we have covered the tour, let's learn how to manage your own GPA calculator. First, let's create the academic terms. In the navigation, click Semesters, input the name of the semester and the ceiling grade in your university. The ceiling grade is the highest grade you can achieve in your university. That is all you need to input. Now that we are done with that, let us create our courses. Go back to the main dashboard and click Courses. To add a course, click New Input the Course Code, the Course Title, the Ceiling Grade, the credit and the semester. Add an icon for visual appeal. Do this for all the courses that you will add. In the GP, a calculator version with a P, just tick the checkbox under the AP property if it is an AP class. Since we've already input the semesters and courses, let us now set up the academic coursework criteria for each course. Click Coursework Criteria in the navigation. Click New and input the coursework name. Assign the appropriate course and the weight of the coursework for the overall grade of the course. Add an icon for visual appeal. Now, do this for every coursework you will add. Ensure that the sum of the weights is equal to 100. Repeat this for every course you're taking. If multiple courses have the same coursework criteria, a helpful tip is to select all the types of coursework for a subject, hover over this area until a checkbox appears, then tick it. Click Ctrl D or Command D to duplicate the items. Uncheck the first box of the duplicated items, then check it again. Once the options appear again, change the course accordingly. Since managing items with similar names can get chaotic, I advise you to create views for each subject. To do this, Hover over the view name, click duplicate view, and change the view name and filter accordingly. Now, we can input our grades for the coursework. Go back to the main dashboard. Let us set the filter first for these two databases to the course that we are inputting grades for. Now, click new under the grades tracker. Input the name, Choose the appropriate type of coursework and ensure you select the one corresponding to the course you are tracking grades for. Then, select the letter grade you received. For the version 2 of this template, you need to input the raw score and the ceiling score, and that's it. Now, you can see that the grades here and our GPA are very low. This is because we do not have input yet for all our coursework criteria. If we try to input all the necessary data, we can now see substantial data in our grades and GPA overviews. That concludes our tutorial. If you are interested in more of my templates, check them out at ulacreations.gumroad.com. I offer a variety of free Notion templates that will revolutionize your Notion experience. For updates and Notion tips, follow me on social media. And remember to like and subscribe.